Writing online is a career fast track, but with over 203 million freelance writers worldwide, how can you stand out from the crowd? Peak Freelance gives you the tools to find better clients, raise your rates, and focus on doing work you enjoy. Plus, it gives you access to a supportive community of like-minded freelancers and experienced writers who make a living writing. All Access members unlock a library of resources, templates, and expert interviews to grow and scale your business. Join Peak Freelance today. Welcome Welcome to Freelance Bitters. Today, we're drinking some mezcal. Well, I'm having mezcal. What are you having? I'm accidentally having mezcal, but you guys, it tastes like campfire and feet. (laughs) Oh, I love mezcal. You stop it. I'm sorry. Just because you're a tequila girl. Okay? Just because just because I am a water girl. She, you know, that's a lie. You're not a water girl at all. A, 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 water, a water girl. girl. A water girl at all. A water girl. You said water. Yeah, water. No, you're not a water girl. I'm a water girl. Anyway. I'm a wine girl. So <laughs> I am a non-alcoholic wine girl. That's why you made a whole series about drinking and talking about freelance life. Yes. Why don't you intro us to what's going on while I stay okay. in this Okay, so part of our endeavors as to crunk and drunk in the club freelancers mm-hmm. was mm-hmm. to source some audience mm-hmm. questions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, we sourced some audience you questions. You say that again, we're not doing this and we're not doing another episode. Drunk and drunk no, in she's, the... she's fired. <laughs> I am not you if you're listening to this, can you please help figure her out? <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, there will be lots of haters, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so we sourced some audience questions to find out like what you would want people who are being casual, extra casual, to talk about. And one of the things was where are some of the like wildest places that you worked? And for this, I brought a visual aid, which is my business fits in a backpack. <laughs> My business fits in a backpack. Her means... business fits in a backpack. Your business fits in a backpack. Uh, I have a MacBook. I mean, I have an iMac, so not really. You can bring your laptop. In. Your business laptop. fits in a backpack. Buy my merch. Wait, did you know I don't have a laptop? What? No, I don't have a laptop. Woof. My... <laughs> I'm really going to I'm not a good freelancer because I'm not. <laughs> I don't have a laptop. What do you do when you want to work? Ooh, uh... You bring your Mac to your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I, put my, I put my iMac right in front of me. He has a cart. <laughs> Just no, I have I have an iPad Pro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, so. that's a iPad Pro is oh an iPad Pro. Yeah. Okay. Not MacBook. Gotcha. That I works too. Yeah. No, I just I'm home a lot, so I usually use my okay. my new iPad. Okay. So and I need it because it's a business write off. So. so one of the things that the reason I would say the number one reason number one that I became a freelancer is because of the flexibility. And there are people out there who would say it's not that flexible. Flexibility does not mean that you don't have to work. (laughs) You still have to work your bum off. But it does mean that you can work wherever you want and whenever you want. That is flexibility. It's a definition. Well, I guess there's like different degrees of flexibility. Yeah. Because you have like flexibility of, you have the flexibility of choice who you want to work with. You have the flexibility of when you want to work, where you want to work. What else? What are the other flexibilities? That's about it. How you want to work? How you want to work. Because you can fire clients. That's true. But for me, so I worked at a nine to five for basically a hundred years. Ew. I'm a vampire. <laughs> I'm a vampire. <laughs> Just staying for like six years. And for me, like I'm a traveler. I'm a, my I'm an adventure seeker. And you guys, do you know what my therapist told me? <laughs> to travel more. My therapist, who I'm hiring forever, said, You need to carve time out of your schedule for travel and adventure. That's mm. flexibility. Yeah, and that is why That's I pay her. I'm like, how much do you want to pay me to pay you this month? I need to talk to your therapist. I know. So I she's like, therapist like that. Should this like, episode just be about your therapist? Yes. She's <laughs> like, I might. She might destroy our marriage because I might have to marry her. She's oh, amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brandon, like, if Brandon, you hear this. Okay. So yeah. I so know, I'm a your therapist. <laughs> I know she's amazing. I mean, I don't go to therapy. I'm totally well addressed. I'm not. Okay. So therapy, my therapist is super cool um, and said, I need to travel places, which I do all the time. She's just here. Right yeah, now. I'm here. I'm in Mexico. But yeah, so for me, when I worked a nine to five, I felt like super suffocated because I had like two weeks of vacation. Mm-hmm. And I want like 
all the vacations. I want like 42 weeks of vacation. 42 weeks? When do and you work? I, 42 weeks? I work on vacation. Oh, so I work on the airplane. Okay. I work at the pool. You guys. I literally work at the pool. I work at the hotel. I work at home. But that's just, I work in the libraries. I work in coffee shops. Okay, but is that okay? Yeah. To be working on vacation? Absolutely. I love, I think that's actually a good topic to talk about because okay. like, like, isn't there like, like what about the mental like separation from? So I do, work? I do vacations where I completely separate and I do okay. not bring work, but yeah. there are times when it's like I could work at home or I could literally work in Las Vegas by the pool or something. Right? Okay, I get it. So it's like, and for me, like, I just like the sunshine. So, okay, craziest locations we've worked. Actually, I want, before I get into mine, my business fits in a backpack. Tell me yours. It's a skull. It's a skull. <laughs> <laughs> the um, it's a skull. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually, to be honest, like, I, okay. I guess these, I don't know if you define these as crazy, but places where I've worked. So I've worked in Leafenworth, Washington, which is a Bulgarian town. It's like a, yeah, it's like it's a Bulgarian town in Washington. Yeah. They've like retained a, like retained the, like they created this okay. little town there. Um, and I was living in a van at the time. So I guess that's also down place. by the like, river. I was down by the river actually in Leafenworth. <laughs> I go down by the river and I met some other van people that lived down in vans down by the river. Down by the river. Yeah. Okay. I used to bathe in the river. Um, <laughs> With with natural soap, okay, it wasn't like dirty soap. So this is fine. Yeah. And so, the I used to work in bars when I was like traveling in the van, and it was funny because I would be writing articles for like thirty bucks a pop, and <laughs> I'd be I would drink more at the bar than I actually made money. But you know, it's like the joy of actually just it was the joy of the flexibility of right. being able to be out there in the world and traveling and writing articles. And, and the only thing you can afford is a van at that point. And the only thing one could afford is a van and like a pint at the, or like 15 <laughs> pints. It depends on how long I was And you do for. dishes after. No, no. Okay. I would just blow it all on the credit card okay. and then just pay it off hopefully one day. Okay. Um, and so, so yeah, so I was a huge like bar traveler. The only place where I just never worked was in, if I was like in a remote setting. Okay. And that's by design. Like if I'm out in the mountains and I'm hiking or I'm at like a cabin or something, the last thing I want to do is open up a fucking laptop and like start working. Right, right, right. So right. I had like a super big cutoff there. I was like, so loud bar, <laughs> loud bar, I'm cool with. Like mm -hmm. I can pop my headphones in. I'll write about anything. But when I'm out in the woods and, mm -hmm. you know, like I just don't want to. I just want to chill. Right. You know, I'm like relax. So yes. that was kind of my thing. And it's not a super crazy place. One crazy place I have worked though was in Venezuela. What? what? <laughs> I guess that's kind of that's crazy. You should crazy. go there. Yeah, I mean, I went to Hugo Chavez's funeral. Go on. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was working there. What you? What? Yeah, that's my life. What did you? Okay, everyone, stop. Listen. Go on. What? <laughs> What were you doing? There? <laughs> Why? How did you get in? Wait, I want to leave this for mystery, though. Okay, is this season two? Is this season? No, tell me now. I can't wait. All right, fine. So, <laughs> so I was working with a um, like a yoga affiliate community. Okay. And not yoga affiliate doesn't even make sense, but it was a community where I learned yoga. Okay. And they had like a like a I don't even know how to describe it. It was like a they had a house and a farm there. And was like, it a cult? <laughs> maybe, maybe, I don't know. Um, okay. But I got out of it. Cool. <laughs> but they were all really nice people, and that's what matters. And so I went there and I lived in Caracas and went out to like Barlavento where they had the farm and everything. And I was actually out on the farm when Hugo Chavez died and we drove overnight. Oh my I think gosh. it was like really overnight. It was like two and a half, three hours from, I think, if I remember correctly. Okay. Um, and I, we went to the funeral from and watched like yeah the casket is pretty crazy, um, but I was there. And you brought your laptop. I was there trying to make the world a better place. So you were definitely. Holy cow! That is oh my gosh! It's raining so hard. Okay, and that is wild. I don't know that I can top that. <laughs> I guess I'm not taking my dogs for a walk. Um, I don't know that I can top that, but I guess I'll try. <laughs> well, no one has. Uh, you don't have to top it. Just share some of your crazy Let's see. places. You have a fuzzy in your So I think that I should say okay. So there's controversy about this idea, as we know, but I think it's really, for me, 
been doing this for a long time and you probably have felt this phoebe waller bridge looking to the camera talking to you guys and like it's really difficult when you have a really cognitively demanding job which is like literally writing a term paper every day for your work michael is reaching for more tequila mezcal <laughs> tastes like feet and campfire this episode is brought to you by Peak Freelance, the community for writers who want to grow their business, make more money, and get incredible clients. Check us out today. For me and my personality and the way that I am productive, it is very important for me to manage work-life balance, especially because I'm such a I'm very self-motivated and I'm a very go, 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 and I'm a very overworker. And I'm like, accept as much work as I can and like make as much money as I can. Like, I like to go, go, go. So for me, something that I've learned is that it's very important to have those times where I can like decompress and have adventure and be somewhat separated from work. Yeah. So a couple of things that I do, and I spent, I kind of started this during the pandemic, but one thing that I do is I try I did this really well last year. I haven't done this as well the past couple of months, admittedly, but I try to work really hard for three weeks and mm -hmm. like, just like settle down. And then I try to take a week off. And when I take a week off, because my therapist told me, I try to go somewhere like really adventurous and really like fun. So I, I go to China or I go to Vietnam or I go to Mexico as it were, wow. or I go to France, went to France with my husband. This week, this year, I went to Tenerife. I went France to France with my husband. Okay, we were married for ten years, and I went to Tahiti this year. And yeah, so I try to like this is just like part of my personality. And other people don't have this. I realized, like, I didn't realize that other people don't like have this. I didn't need. realize they did all this so yeah. much. Like. This year, I went to Tenerife, and I went to Arizona. And I went where right. I met you. Ugh. It was Arizona. great, but we don't like Arizona anymore. Yeah. And California and Tahiti and Portugal. I took my kids to Portugal. Did you say Ukraine? I went to Ukraine and to Ukraine. Poland. I went to Ukraine and Poland, you guys. It was wild. That's a whole other story. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, but like for me, it's it's like really important to take time off to do humanitarian work or yeah. to do fun travel with my husband or to take my kids like they do portuguese immersion so i took them to portugal and it was really great i literally wish you were my mom like mom um mom never brought me to portugal yeah yeah and like obviously with freelance writing and for doing it with 11 for 11 years it puts me in a place that i can finally do those things like mm -hmm. i could not do these things when i first started out because i wasn't making as much money mm -hmm. i I, like my, we made twenty thousand dollars a year together. Like it was terrible, you know. Yeah. But after like growing and after time, like I can do this. I should say though that like even if you can't do these like extravagant things, like you should still take time for your mental health. And you should still take time to do the things that like feed your soul. And the reason that I do that, yes. Okay. Question though. So, okay. so I didn't mean to interrupt, but I do have Go a question. On. So, <laughs> when you say like. You know, you can do it now because you have the money to do it. Yeah. But like, what does someone, what can someone do if they don't have yes. the money or they're and like, I didn't not at like first. super like, thriving? And you know? honestly, I think it's just like, for me, if I take, like, I couldn't take a week off when I first started. That is admitted. Like, I could not do that because right. I didn't have the money to do that. Did but you have kids I, when I first started, the, when I first started full-time freelancing, I was... Um, I moonlighted for a while. I'm okay. kind of risk averse. So I like worked at my nine to five and like did articles here right, and there right. until I felt like fully comfortable moving over. But for like, I think it's still important to take time for your mental health, especially when you're like, like I mentioned before, especially when you're doing something that's so like intense, like yeah, with like your writing. brain and so hard. Yeah. Like it's really hard. It's like challenging. Like you have to give yourself, even if it's just like, okay, I'm going to set the parameter that today I'm working from eight until one, and then I'm doing something for myself. Mm. I'm going on a walk with my dogs, or I am going up into the mountains, or I am going to the lake, or I am yeah. watching television, like watching that movie that I want or whatever. Like it doesn't have to be these like intense adventurous things. It can be something that's whatever like feeds or nourishes your soul. And that's the things that I did at first, you know, but I think that I it's that. important to take time to reset 
because if you don't allow yourself that time, like you will 100% burn out. Yeah. And I know because I burnt out several times and your quality of work goes down, your quality of life goes down. Like it just kind of sucks. So yeah. yeah. And I think two points that I want to add is like one. So Alex Sheehan, okay. you know her? like she writes for Shopify wave. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. She's been around for a while. She's a little quiet. She's a little more quiet, like mm -hmm. in social presence, but she's an amazing writer. Okay. Um, and I spoke with her once for Peak Freelance mm -hmm. for an interview and she, she travels a lot. Um, okay. She lives in Puerto Rico right now. And she was saying that for her, and how she approaches her freelance business and she makes good money doing it. You know, she's a, has a fulfilling life for herself, which is always more important than money. Mm -hmm. She plans like, for example, like an example is on, she knows on Wednesday, she's going to go to a waterfall. Like she thinks mm -hmm. about it ahead of time. So she's like, I know that I want to go do this thing on Wednesday or Thursday. Right. So then she plans her client work around that whole, right. like that adventure and that thing. And, and I love that. And I love, like the idea of planning it on, on like a, like a segue from that too is also like, I think it's also very important. I read an article recently, I think it was a New York times opinion article. And I don't remember actually, uh, where, <laughs> what publication it was, which is terrible as a writer. Like you should know the publication, maybe the writer. Um, but I read a good article and it was about like really valuing Sure, like the tens, right? Like going to visit a waterfall, the things that you would rate a 10, like a waterfall or going to, like the Ukraine or, you know, like really awesome things, but also really taking into consideration and really putting like your awareness and, mm -hmm. and appreciation into the threes and the fours. Right. Right. Okay. And like, so like even recently, like what I've taking started, your dog on a walk. yeah, okay. like taking dogs on the walk, even though it's like a responsibility, but <laughs> I do love taking my school. dogs for walks. I do, they, I love them so much <laughs> and they're like my whole life. Like I I live in the building back there and I just want to go see them. Okay. And so the other thing though is like, even if you just like, I've been editing early just so I can read my books because I'm on like a huge reading spree this year. Like I've been reading every fucking thing under the sun. Um, and though, even though I'm, like some would say like, yeah, reading a book is not climbing a huge mountain mm -hmm. or going like paddle boarding or like traveling a thousand miles to go to some awesome things. Those are all really beautiful experiences <laughs> also. Um, but also right. like, it doesn't have to be like taking time for yourself. Doesn't mean you have to go do really amazing things. It just means also like doing something that just brings you joy, whether it's like sitting on your couch. Mm -hmm. I live in a one bedroom apartment, mm -hmm. you know, like we have, it's just an open studio. So like, I don't, I don't have a huge house. I don't have a pool. I don't have things like that. Like, and so for me, like just hopping on the couch, ending work at like one mm -hmm. and then reading and like hanging out with my dogs for a day. Like that's something really beautiful to me. Um, that took me a very long time to really appreciate, you know, cause it was always like, I work so hard. I should play hard mm -hmm. and not like, I don't like besides this podcast, like, you know, I mean, this podcast video series. It doesn't always mean like going out and doing insane shit. Right. You know, it could be anything like, and for me, like it's become reading and like going and sitting at the cafe and whether it's, I have a Negroni or whether I have a, a cocktail or just like watching my dog sit on my shoulder while we're like, and then I usually end up taking a nap too, but you know, like the simple, the more simple things like that. And it's different for every person too. Yeah. It's like the beauty. I think that like to go back to the flexibility, like the beauty of the flexibility is that Yes, you have to get your work done and, you have, but you can also like plan your work around mm -hmm. like what it is that you like to do. And for me, that is travel. Like yeah. therapist said, I have to. And, and I take my kids with me or whatever. And I, I love that. Know, like I said, can you adopt me? Are you too old to adopt? Am no, I too old I'll, to be I'll adopted? Ad I will adopt you. Adopted. Yeah. Consider it I think, I think I'm, I mean, I'm 31, <laughs> so you can still adopt a 31 year old. Right? Probably. Yeah. Yes. This is yes. how Michael R. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Where are we going really, on vacation? I, really, I, really <laughs> I want to go on vacation. <laughs> but there are, there are lots of other freelancers who, like I know, have talked about this recently. Like I know Kat Bogart talks in, in her newsletter about how she takes like Fridays and sometimes Thursdays off to just like be with her family. So she'll work like a three or four day work. work. I want to go on vacation. <laughs> 
Hey, I'll take you. Okay, Where do you all right. want to go? Yes, continue. Agreed. Agreed. But your partner, Elise, like has recently been like, this is something that's very important to me, mm -hmm. right? And I think that the flexibility, like it, you have to like be able to, uh, I don't know. For me, I feel like part of the success of freelancing is that I recognize that I cannot sustain a like 12 hour work day of writing, 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 mm -hmm. writing, 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 answering emails. Like for me, it's like if I give myself that time to reset and to be flexible and to work around the things that are actually important to me, then I can like do much better yeah. with like producing work for clients. I, I do a really good job producing work for clients when I'm at the pool. Because at the end of the day, you do have to produce good work for clients. Oh, but we were talking about the craziest places we've worked too. So what? Yeah, Venezuela. This is um, China. But this is the Freelance Betters podcast, so we can do, we can talk about <laughs> we whatever do what we, want. we want. Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. Well, I love Mexico. I love Mexico. Mexico. Me too. I really love it here. I love everywhere. You do love everywhere. I know. I love that about you. I do. Thanks. You're so cute. He's my, he's um, my um, son. My mom. My mom is so nice to me. Can you buy me food? I'm hungry. <laughs> and with that, any closing takeaways? And with that, no, no closing takeaways. Um, I mean, Do whatever you want. It's your freelance business. It's your life. It's hard at first. It is. It, you can still have flexibility. You won't make the same money. Like I did not make a lot of money when I first started. I wrote penny per word articles. Yeah. Like it was a disaster. But it like gets better. And yeah, you have to put in the work, but it gets to a point where it's like better, you know? And if you want to drink and start a podcast video series thing, then just do it. Can I get bad reviews on this one? I don't care because it's what I want to do. Subscribe. Bye.